Hey guys, what's going on? It's P Gamboa, and in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about being able to start your truck without the HMI. For those of you that don't know, the HMI is a little box that is installed behind the upper glove box, stands for Human Machine Interface, and it's the box that drives your radio system, your entertainment system, your navigation, all that good stuff. And if you have a need for getting your HMI programmed or updated, let's say for example, you don't have the navigation system or maybe you're sending it off to get some other things unlocked, you cannot start your truck essentially without the HMI. And the reason for that is because GM has a local area network called the GM LAN that interfaces through the HMI. So when you remove the HMI, you are essentially breaking that network. And so what we're going to do, what I'm going to show you today is how to remove the HMI and how to restore that network so you can essentially start your truck. Now here in my truck, my HMI is installed, so naturally I can start my truck. And so what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna remove the HMI and I'll show you your truck will not start and what we'll need to do to get it to, uh, so you can start and not be completely down while your HMI is getting programmed. So let's take a look at the HMI. To remove the HMI, you wanna remove the upper and lower glove box. You'll be using a Torx T15 driver bit, two screws at the top, two screws here in the middle, and two screws down below. The bottom glove box just pops off first. Just give it a little tug. Just like that. And the upper one just goes down. Just like so. Set those aside. If you take a look underneath, you'll see all the connections to your HMI. You wanna see if you can get those unplugged and pull the HMI out. Now this blue connector uh, may give you a little bit of trouble, so just be patient with it. You don't want to break that connector off. Now pull the HMI out. The connector we're going to be looking at is this black connector. There's a GM LAN uh, circuit. There are two GM LAN circuits that go through this and when this is disconnected it breaks the uh, circuit. So we're going to be looking at this black connector here. All right. So taking a look at the wiring diagram. So what I've got here is the K74 HMI module X1 connector. And we're going to be looking at these four circuits. You've got GM LAN positive, negative, positive, negative. So essentially pin 11 and 13 need to be reconnected. 12 and 14 need to be reconnected. So what we're gonna do is on this connector, we're gonna locate those pins and we're just gonna add a jumper wire. So what I've done is I've made a jumper wire using a blue wire and a white wire. So again, the blue wire will land on pin 11 and connect to pin 13. And then the white wire will land on pin 12 and land on pin 14 and that should uh, give us the GM LAN circuit reconnected and intact. So before I actually jump those circuits I'm going to go ahead and try to give the truck a start. Nothing. So let's get that uh, two circuits jumped and then we'll give it another shot. All right guys, so I went ahead and uh, got some blue and white wire to correspond with the blue and white wire on the connector. Added some male JST terminals on it, added some heat shrink tubing to prevent it from shorting out, and landed the uh, wire so that the blue wire on the connector will take the blue wire and basically just make a loop so that the blue wires are jumped together and the white wires are jumped together. So the blue wire is pin 11, so you're gonna go 11 to 13 on the blue, and then the white wire is 12 and 14. So that should be all there is to it, guys, to get your truck started without the HMI. And again, I've got my HMI out. So now, if I go, I should be able to start the truck. There you go, guys. HMI removed. 
jumper installed, truck started. Now you won't have any radio again because the radio interfaces with the HMI. So, um, but your truck won't be down while your HMI is get, uh, off to get programmed. So I'm setting my HMI off to uh, White Auto and Media Services. Check them out at whiteautoandmedia.com. We're gonna be getting this guy programmed to get some uh, new neat features. And uh, if you like this video, guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, we'll see what this guy's gonna look like when I get it back. So thanks again, guys. This is P. Gamboa. Until next time, we'll see ya.